The MCC flight for February has been delayed, but for how long? Well, we'll find out in this video. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. If you're looking for some additional Halo content, check out my Instagram page, link in the description down below. There I've been posting daily screenshots of some awesome Halo moments. So make sure to follow the Instagram.com slash Kevin Kulex, link in the description down below. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe let's get right into the content here. Well, the original plan was to fly on February 18th. Well, that day has come and passed and we're not playing the flight right now. That's because it has been delayed. I did let you guys know on my community page here. So if you want to stay up to date with news bits that kind of just happen where maybe I don't have time to make a video for that moment, make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with those community posts. And I also do do a lot of polls and let you guys kind of in with all of the content and stuff happening with the channel. So subscribe there as well. Postums let us know in a tweet here saying PSA. Hey all, we have a handful of Ring 3 blockers for the next public flight. The team is heads down on these and are looking to next week as our new starting point for this month's flight. More details will come tomorrow's MCC Devon flight update. And I always make a video about those updates when it comes to MCC that come out at the end of the day on Friday. They usually upload those on Saturday morning, so I'll let you guys know as soon as that information comes around. But right now, yes, we are currently delayed at the moment. My assumption that we might see probably either Tuesday or Thursday, somewhere between those three days of Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday for when this next flight will roll around. From my experience of following Halo news for so long, following these flights ever since they've been starting to do them, that generally these Ring 3 blockers are kind of last minute kind of things. They just need to kind of iron out a little bit towards the end. They usually don't last much more than a few days before they can actually get a chance to get the flight rolling. So I would highly suspect to see next week's flight to come around again, either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday for that flight. And this flight is looking to be massive actually surprisingly big i did not expect it to be this entertaining to look into this flight because uh, previously all the flights were game related when it came to like halo 4 or 3 uh, this one's just more features and content coming into the game and there's actually a lot of stuff the list goes on saying custom game browser season 6 content a new map for halo 3 from halo online FOV Slayer support for all xbox one consoles i know you guys want to have that i've been seeing a lot in my comment section FOV slider will no longer be locked when Xbox Series X slash S devices are set to 120 hertz, double keybinds, mouse and keyboard support for consoles, advanced audio options, as well as view model customization. That's not it. We're also going to have a chance to play around with the MCC store that's going to be coming in. If you guys have been out of the loop for the last few days or so, or haven't checked out all my videos, that they are having a store coming in with season six of the MCC, where you can spend your seasonal points to unlock specific items that might have been locked behind a challenge they necessarily can't get anymore. Like the Arctic camo that was for the recon playlist if you hit level 25, I believe. Well, obviously you can't play the recon playlist, so how do you unlock that? Well, it looks like they'll probably add something like that into the store. Or maybe people who have been having issues with the Because You Beg challenge that you can't land on that elite quite right to get that Mr. Chief helmet. They probably put that in the store as well, just so people can earn it. Now, the big thing with the store, though, I really hope that they kind of have like a season delay between adding content in there. Essentially saying that if you're, say, we're playing season five right now, right? Season six rolls around. I would not want to see season five challenge content in that season six store. Anything from season four and earlier, I'd be totally fine with. But the big thing about customization is being able to kind of showcase your dedication to the game, right? And the ability to know, let, let people know that, hey, I grinded up the game. I got earned this camo. I feel super special about it. That's kind of what makes grinding out these different pieces you know, something worth going for because you get a chance to make yourself feel more unique within the game. And then just next season, put that into the store, really invalidates that grind, really makes people not want to play the modes that you're kind of ch channeling people down into, like you're saying the Halo 4 competitive playlist, uh, that recom player playlist and other types of activities within the game. Because people will go, well, I just won't grind it if it's just going to be put into the store next season, you know? There's a fine balance that they need to do at 343 to figure out what kind of content will go into the store, at, which is going to be completely free, by the way. The only, only thing you'll need to spend is seasonal points. And what kind of content they need to delay before putting into the store to avoid any kind of backlash from the community. Now, the store will not be there day one. It sounds like it's going to be more of a mid-flight patch, but maybe with this extra time it could maybe be like uh the next week after the flights launch because flights usually last about two weeks or so something like that they probably also gauge how much 
the population has maybe dropped off from the initial launch of the flight. But maybe with this extra time, we could see the store at launch again. I'll be making content all about this flight so you guys can see everything, how it all works out individually, like the new map from Halo Th Online being put into Halo 3, Season 6 content, the MCC custom browser, and also with all the other options coming in with the game as well. I'll definitely be making videos showcasing all the awesome stuff coming in as soon as that flight happens for us. Personally, the most exciting part for me about this flight is going to have to be probably that new Halo 3 map. We haven't really had like new content coming into the game since the Halo 4 launch. And every new addition to Halo 3 has really just been custom maps and from Forge, which have been great. Don't get me wrong. They're amazing maps. That community playlist we had for Halo 3 was awesome. It was really a lot of fun to play. Uh, but bringing these maps from Halo Online into Halo 3 me just really opens the door to what kind of content we could see coming out throughout 2021 for the MCC. I did make a video previously right here showcasing all the different kind of content that's in Halo Online that could certainly make its way over to Halo 3. We have a bunch of new armor sets coming in as well coming into MCC. Obviously not confirmed yet but I mean just from the season 5 get a gameplay trailer they showcase armor sets that are currently not in mcc right now from halo online most likely going to make their way into the game as well and most likely tied into the season six content which i will definitely make a video on as well i even did a poll on my channel kind of asking you guys what's the most exciting part you're looking forward to with this flight and you guys said the custom game browser which is going to be a huge part of the mcc to really kind of bring in those classic moments that we remember those custom game moments from the classic days of halo bringing it over to the modern day. It's going to be such a great thing to be able to play all these amazing custom games that have been created over the decades of Halo. Well, let me know in the comment section down below what part about the MCC flight are you most excited about and what do you want to see first on the channel? Because I definitely will tailor my stuff to what you guys would like to see. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, check out the videos on the screen right here. A link to all my news and informational videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.